Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Liquid Smooth Android Lollipop ROM for the Galaxy S3. This is based on Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. And without further ado, let's jump right into what this offers. As you can see from the start, it has got the Lollipop-esque feel. It's got all of Lollipop, which is material design, mainly material design. The one difference I did find was that the settings menu still remained the usual kit caddy like which actually I preferred over the lollipop white background and this is a great touch by Liquid Smooth. They've done a great job. As far as compatibility and working goes, everything works fine. The Wi-Fi is working great as you can see on screen as well as the camera which I'll show you to be working just fine. You can take pictures just like a normal smartphone and although there is a bit of shutter lag, I mean if you are looking to flash unstable ROMs on your phone, I think you get past that. All other things work as well and it is a great substitute for those people who want to try something different from the usual CyanogenMod. mod. Of course this is running Android 5.0.2 Lollipop as previously mentioned. And it's even got the easter egg for any of you guys who are interested, which I cannot run. There we go. The Flappy Droid easter egg, of course. Now, is this worth it to flash at the moment or should you wait for Cyanogen mod for a future update? Well, in my opinion, it is actually worth it because of the level of customization that Liquid Smooth brings over to your phone. If you jump on down to the settings and click on the Liquid Smooth tab, you'll be greeted with the following four settings. Equalizer helps you tamper with music and phone speakers etc on your device which is great for music enthusiasts but I won't tinker with it much. The interface option allows you to change your LCC, LCD density to whatever DPI you'd like. Again, I wouldn't recommend this if you're a new user. And this thing is show search bar in recents. What this does is if it's off, apparently it won't show the search bar. However, here you can see that it does show the search bar, so I don't really know what's going on. Alright, so when it's on, it stays off, and when it's off, it stays on. So that's kind of a bug on this ROM, so if you guys are wondering what bugs exist, well, there's one for you right there. Status bar helps you change quick settings and what they look like. You can of course turn off and on smart pull down and you can turn off and on all of these other options right here. Double tap to sleep basically allows the phone to sleep when you double tap the notification bar. Again, I do not recommend this for normal use. Also, you can customize the way the clock and dates are displayed on your notification bar. So for example, if you want to change the color from let's say red to blue you just click and there we go it's blue now the same goes for the date you can customize how big or small or not even showing the date could be as well as where you want to align the time which is a great touch by liquid smooth so lastly when we move on to advanced we're greeted with ad blocker which is a great tool for those who want to block ads on their android smartphones I personally have it off, but if you guys want to tinker around with it, be sure to flash this ROM on your phone. Anyways guys, that was a quick video showing you the Liquid Smooth Android Lollipop ROM on your Galaxy S3. If you guys do want to get this ROM on your S3, be sure to look out on my channel for a tutorial in the following days to come. But if you can't wait for that, you can check out the link in the description and try it out for yourself. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like rating. If you dislike this video, dislike it and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. But till then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.